And in Gulf Shores, double red flags were flying in the wind yesterday ahead of Tropical Storm Barry. WVTM 13's Mary O'Connell joins us now live from the coast with what conditions look like right now. Good morning, Mary. Hey, good morning. Well, as you can see, it is pretty windy out still this morning, and we've seen now a couple people come out just to take a look at these waves behind me. I'll step out of the way so you can kind of get a view. They are huge, and it's the reason law enforcement are stressing people to stay out of the water. We're told waves could get as high as 13 feet through the weekend. Double red flags are still flying this morning, warning of dangerous rip currents. The fire department said if you got in the water right now, a swimmer could easily get tired and go underwater without anyone on the beach even knowing. The local EMA is still watching the storm very closely. The National Weather Service says minor, minor coastal flooding could be expected in some areas up to three feet. No rain yet so far today or even in the last two days. This area is under a flash flood watch through Sunday and that means we can see anywhere from four to seven inches of rain and the EMA says they're also watching to see if there's obviously we have uh, high winds out here, but also storm surge as this storm inches closer to shore. In Gulf Shores, Mary O'Connell, WVTM 13.